Skyward Sword, let's go. Let's go. I just don't understand this screen. <laughs> Where does my cursor begin? I don't know, and I'll never know. But I do know, however. It's time to check out Lanero Mining Facility. Oh! Little Scorpos! Uh, no, I've got that equipped. I can just back up a little and chuck. Bonk. Wow. Worth it. That's for later. Corpo! Ah! Alright. So, uh, who's got something to talk about? Um, me? No, I, I actually don't. Um, let's see what's going on in the world these days. Uh, COVID is still a thing, although it's getting better here in Canada. And horribly worse in other parts of the world. Uh, I hear that the UK and uh, the United States are doing pretty bad. It's unfortunate. Um, I think things are pretty bad in India, is it? I don't know. I've, I'm really not paying attention to this whole thing anymore, because it's just... I don't, I don't want to say I'm over it, but... I feel like we've been doing it long enough now that I'm not interested <laughs> in developments anymore. It's like... I don't know. I've got my two vaccine shots. Tell me when it's safe for me to go outside again, and... That's all I really am worried about at this point. Really? Um... You know, I hope other countries get their acts together so that their people stop getting horribly ill and dying, but some countries, that's, you know, just asking too much. They're stealing their freedom! Some such garbage like that. It's all a hoax. There ain't no COVID. Yeah. Some people are dumb. Oh no, it's a trap! Little Scorpos everywhere. And that's, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. So, don't worry about it too much. It's almost likely never gonna hear anyone else's ears. Because I don't think anyone will ever actually watch this except for, like, me three years down the road when I'm feeling nostalgic for Zelda games again. Is there anything else in this room that I should be looking at? No, I don't think so. Wait. No. I thought I saw a really big time shift stone up in the ceiling. Which was not the case. Oh no. Two of these dudes. I can barely handle one. Are these boxes made for pushing? I think I can break them. I guess I could go up there. There's also these doors. And that's just a bunch of pipes. I'm gonna go this way first. Ow! Oops. Gotcha! Oh, I can't go this way first. Can I go this way first? Uh, no, I have no key. Okay. Okay. 
boxes. You get to live your dream. I'm going up, yeah. Although I should have killed that last Hydra thing. Because... You know, traditionally in... Zelda Legends... Murdering all the enemies in a room will... Um... Make a treasure chest appear. Often with the key you need. Nuts. And nothing. Is this going to be une clé? It is! Oh, when I can't go that way, there's an iron box in my way. No, Link, why? You... Dolt. Yeah, should have done that, or gone down the ladder, as I was piloting you to do. Your butt. <laughs> Hello. There's like a split second where they're lined up before they change formation, so. At least it seems that way. I don't know if it was just doing that by chance. Or if that's the way they actually work, but. Oh, hello. How would you feel about a slingshot to the face? Good sir. Ow! Help. Crusted up in dead ivy. Just as climbable as live ivy. Perfect. Anything? Anyone? No? Uh, that's blocked by a box. This is... Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm using the wrong item. That's also the wrong item. What's this switch going to accomplish? Open a door? Reveal a time shift stone? Oh, so I can only change it whilst standing on the button. Uh, I guess this is a job for Mr. Beetle. So it probably could shoot a slingshot that far, but I don't know about the angle. I think it'd be tough. 
It'll be a tough shot to make. Mr. Beetle's a little bit slower, but he gets the job done. He's a trusty guy, Mr. Beetle. I like him. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, yeah. I'm pressing the wrong way. In to stab. Up, up, up. You know, if I had to give a list of reasons for why Skyward Sword is the best Zelda, which it's not, I, I don't think that, but if I had to make that list, uh, being able to kill Beemos with your sword would be pretty high up on it. Because I hate Beemos. They're the worst. And you can do that. That's pretty sweet, too. Don't mind me. Putting a sword in your eyeball. Worst machine ever. I should not have gone this way. first. Holy. So many doors. And I am here. So there's really only one door. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. find. Good find. And let's not get blasted in electricity. Oh, come on, little fruit. Feels so good. There's so many years of being terrorized by Bemos. so much harder than it has to be. If I push you gently towards the edge, walk off gently. It's not that hard. Stab. It's so dreary after the last room.
Use my foes to clear my path. Perfect. Do they? Yeah, they come back to life, just in case you screw it up. Oh, I see a treasure box there. But... Um... I'm gonna keep pressing forward first. And... Oh. That's why. There's a treasure box right here. And nothing else. <laughs> because it's the dungeon item! Gust Bellows. It's basically the opposite of the Gust Jar from Minish Cap. Ooh! Rupee and a thingy. It is... not the most exciting item. We up in Luigi's Mansion now, yo. Disappointed that you can't switch back to the sword quickly by hitting the right stick. Um, you actually have to press B to cancel out the item, which is too bad. A little bit clunky. It's not the worst. Another friggin' feather! What is with these things? Hey, there are spikes there. We guess I can. Not worth my time. Your own business, you puffer fish. Oh, that's worth my time. Free Amber Relic. It's a rupee. I don't care. Can't blow them off the wall? What the heck? So disappoint. I'm that ladder like such a maniac. Ghost pillows, let's go. We're in sand like nobody's business. Oh. So I have to push it this way because there's a ladder there. Everybody respect the ladder. Oh, the heart. You have enough of those. I see you, bats. Give me a monster claw. Come on. Uh, thought maybe getting a running start would help. It didn't. Like, oh, this feels nice on my butt. Thank you.
Uh. So what can I do with this thing that I couldn't do before? Oh, there's a bunch of things I can... Piles of sand in here that I can blow away. Oh, the little guys stay dead too? Yeah, not, no. Yeah, I know you're there. <laughs> what? How did he fall face first like that? That was awesome. want. I don't think there's any reason to push this block around, is there? It's like an alternate way to... No, I want to shove it off the side. <laughs> there it goes. Coming for me. Really not all that threatening, is he? Well, I am getting a little bit tired of all these baby scorporinos. <gasps> I need you. I will give my life for the tiny amount of jelly. even lose a heart. What's the point? Oh, please. Help. <laughs> the tiny babies, they're gonna get me. Close one. <gasps> Two rupees. That makes up for the one I didn't get. sort of a reason to go back that way. Can I jump that far? Yes. Monster horn. I need the claws, please. Claws. They're not popping out of anything. 
Oops, wrong way. Blue. Out of the way. this guy. Can I reflect missiles? Yes, I can. Decent. Um, what's happening now? Your drone babies are dead. that from down here. Oh well. Harpses. Next time, you mechanical monstrosity. You'll not be chewing on my flesh today. for me. I think you are. You can't ignore me. I'm the main character. Damn it. Baby Scorpo. Uh, heart I do need. Yoink. Yeah, let's murder this baby. He didn't give me nothing. What a waste of a murder. Okay, what's the story here? This is like an Armo statue. It's gonna move eventually when I hit a time shift stone that brings it back into functional state. for my theory about time shift stones. There's really none in this room. Unless... Oh no. You can do it, Mr. Beetle. You can't do it, it's already gone. He's already dead!
ba, ba, ba. Or that. That song too. Oop, I've got the wrong thing equipped. I like his tiny freak out before he explodes. It's like he knows what's about to happen. Oh crap, my crystals! I'm gonna... <laughs> Give me that treasure map. It's gotta be the map, right? We've been in this dungeon forever now. Yes! Far Cry from, what was it, Wind Waker, where they give you the map, like, as soon as you enter a dungeon, basically? Maybe it was Twilight Princess. I don't know. One of them. Maybe both. What you got for me, barrels? Mm, nothing good. I don't have a block with which to hold it down. Oh, I don't need one. Brilliant. Zoom, please. Oh, wait. I don't need this. Uh-oh. I miscalced. So maybe I can use this after all. Here you go! Froggy boy! secret. Where I'm gonna go? Oh my. Look at that. They map out the tunnel and everything. Is there anything in the wrong ways? Not in that way. Oh, there's a little sign that says don't go this way. It's a little bit dummy proof. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. What's in here? Another bird feather? I was joking. Yep. These are some robots. I gotta say, crawling is a little bit more tedious when you have to make the turns yourself. I like in Wind Waker and Twilight Princess that Link just kind of turns on his own when you get to a corner and there's no other way to go. But, uh, you know, whatever. There's just so little crawling that it's not an actual problem or anything. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Huh. 
He ate it. Stupid jelly thing. Um, choo choo? Are those choo choos or are they some other kind of slime monster deal? Well, I really don't want to have to deal with either of these. And he loved it a lot lower than I expected. My bad. Oh. oh, I get to do more crawling like a little baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Nye, nye. Corpse? Yes. They want that to sink. Okay, which way is the... Whoa. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Yeah, we're just fine. Oh, it's not left. Alright, I'm not looking down all the dead ends, though. Ain't got time for that. Or, hold on. No, I do have time for that. I just don't want to. Ah. I went the wrong way by accident. Now I look like a fool. A plum fool. Mm -hmm. Impaled. Dead. If you didn't think we were going 100% Super Mario Sunshine with this... Oh, were you ever wrong. This is fun, isn't it? What gameplay? What engaging mechanics? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me with this? Stupid pot. Oh, a fairy. I don't have an empty bottle, do I? No. I'll just eat this fairy now. <laughs> Sand. There's so much sand. And that guy just never floats the way I want him to.
Thank you, chest. That's a nice prize. Doesn't get exploded by the spikes. Are you kidding me? How much damage do you think I was going to take in this room, Nintendo? Oh, should I have gone to that? Uh-oh. treasure box over there. We're showing the map, so I'm I'm fine not having explored this little area, right? Right? Wait. What did I press? I mean, oh, it turns blue when there's something blowable. Gotcha. Gotcha. I just hang there for a bit, Link. It's good for you. Wait, is the switch up now? I don't get it. Maybe it changes the way the cart moves or something? Is there any reason to go all the way back here? have to go up that way eventually. This is Zelda. I think I should probably go this way first, right? Oh, but what's up here? Well, this cart's not going anywhere until I spin the pinwheel, so. Oops. Gave a red rupee last time. Ah! Big. You know what? This guy's big enough. I think he deserves a snack. I was actually hoping there would be a bomb in there. One of those. Oops. Oh, so if you jump down here, the switch is to bring the cart back this way. Okay. Got it. And I don't... I guess I can go that way. Do I want to? Well, let's finish the journey of this cart first, and then figure that out. This guy's got places to be. I don't know if I can fight these BMOs. I might have to just hide from them. Oof. Three dimensions, they're difficult.
Is that all I came here for? To create a shortcut back to the entrance? No, Ugh, I can go this way. Okay. Like that's disappointing. What a waste of time. Just fly off the edge, please. choices. Um. Okay. Maybe. Hold on. Maybe. This way is blocked. Yeah, okay. That makes my decision a little bit easier. Come on. I see what's happening here. Let's do it. Alright, good job, minecart. You need to turn around. turning around? No? Why not? You didn't have to die completely. Uncalled for. The question is, did that thing stay open? Can't see. You need to peek around the edge. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks good. trust this floor. It looks weird. Oh my goodness, look at all those little Scorpos. It's blowing away my seeds! Rude! from behind. Whoa, he's electric. I did not realize that. Obviously, but... Oh, a tricky one. You are a tricky one. With the heart. Thank you. Hey, there's a bomb refill. Nice. Uh, what do you do? Okay. Thank you. I don't know that this action was helpful. I do know that that action was not helpful. Dang it. Stupid metal blocks get in my way. 
going around the long way. What? Is there a switch I have to push? But where? Hold on. All right, Mr. Beetle, you haven't gone for a ride in a while. Let's see what you can find up here. I don't think this will work, Mr. Beetle. Nope. Now those five rupees will be lost to time. Not 100% sure what I miss. Hello? I think I saw it. Tricky. Do this. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Ooh, that's a fancy chest. Bet it has one of those fancy puzzle pieces in it. I don't want to kill you there. You're going to explode all your rupees into the void again. But I suppose that's how this enemy really hurts me. It's not about the hearts or anything, or shield damage. It's about me watching possible funds get lost into nothingness. Don't go this way, says the robots. as I ever listened to a robot. I'm a real boy. Damn it. Okay. Oh, is that a puzzle solution? 23 is number one. So, do I have to knock those statues over in order? Is that what it's trying to tell me? 
I'm not sure. Buzz, what's happening, phone? Yeah. Game's done quick as live streaming. A surprise. It happens every single day. Alright. So, we'll start at this end, and then to the far end. Is there any logic to the way you have to shoot these to make them spin? It seems like it's arbitrary. Oh. Gotcha. That makes more sense. I got it after the first time. You really don't need to show me again. Conservation of momentum or whatever there. No, uh, why wouldn't you target him, dude? <laughs> Shoot, my stupid earbud keeps falling out. You could get them both. You'd only try. Whoa. Let's get some mad ups. Or some mad sidewayses? It's really more of an impressive horizontal leap than anything. Yeah, you got a big mess of gold. Ancient circuit, okay. If you say so, game. If you say so. So, uh... I can... Okay. Is that Beemos moving? What is this game? Beemos don't move, they're totem poles. Ah, oh crap. Lost my nerve and I paid for it. Switches here. Ooh, ooh, and there's a treasure box all the way at the end of this. 
Can't wait to get my next blue feather. I see you, Keys. I don't know why. There's no reason to go back at all. Okay. all under the sand. Not even little Scorpo babies. Weird. Goodbye. Chicken wire? No? You sure? Oh. Oh, the ends are too long. Um, what if I spin it around like... Nope. What if I spin it around... Nope. So, almost got it. Things are weirdly hard to maneuver. I miss my Wii remote. All the motion control babies are like, e -e -e, motion control suck. E -e. And I mean, in a lot of cases, yes, they do, but they're actually not bad for Skyward Sword. They work like 99% of the time. At least, I, that's how I found. I didn't ever have any problems with the controls. The original Skyward Sword. It's more the game design that has flaws that I have issues with. Mulmarak. Thousand Year Arachnid. Okay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Oh! Ah! Get it off! It's a big old miss. The stab man, stab. No, no stab. Ooh, he's got his tail going on in the action now too. Peekaboo! Wait, that was it? That was it?
You sure that wasn't a mini boss? Felt like a mini boss. I, mean, I barely had to try. Oh well. Now how did Zelda get down here, I wonder? Just... Just curious. And hearts, baby. Wait, and were the pots on top of the sand? Or are those just hearts for me when I'm done and need to heal? Except for there's a heart container there, so I get an automatic full heal. I do not know. You know what's really nice? I've been playing for an over an hour, and I haven't had to read any dialogue yet. Not even close. Mr. Beetle? We are in need of your services, good sir. <laughs> A hall of robots. I was going to say each of these robots was a prior king of the robots, but they're all saluting. Get dizzy. Everybody. Get dizzy. Oh, jeez. I'm tired. This one's my fault. I stayed up way too late. Normally it's because I don't sleep well, but this time, it's 100% on me. <gasps> I know that voice. It haunts my dreams. It's that abusive girl who keeps pushing me off cliffs. Oh, she got there because she didn't have to go through the mining facility. I only had to go through like a scrub because there was that debris in the way. That's how it works. Dang. Ryan! Ryan, here, you'll need this where you're going. Straight to hell. Music hell. I don't know, something funny? You got the goddess's harp. There's no time to admire it. <laughs> Go, now! You have my thanks, Ryan. Hey! Ryan! You must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. I know that we will... I'll see you again! This isn't goodbye, Ryan! Something. I wasn't looking.
No, you've done it, Ryan. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was soft. I'll take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time, I'll do more than just beat you senseless. I'll make the affair so excruciating you deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. Ooh, intense. A report, Master. I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. She did. Smooshed. The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer search for her with your dowsing ability. Well, shucks. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the sealed grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose that we travel to the sealed temple. I propose that you shut up. No, not really. I'm sorry, Fi. You've actually been pretty good. Talking way less than Midna or Ezlo. Way less than Ezlo. Oh, you know I'm gonna do this. You know damn well. Is that an ant? You're coming home with me, mister. Creepy! Uh, Amber Relic. Oh. Cornucopia of ants. Three? Did I get three? I hope so. I didn't see the little Pikmin ghost fly up, so... <laughs> Presumably I didn't step on any. <laughs> Freebie. Free Amber Relic. I hear a free cicada as well. There it is. Doink. Hey, Gorko. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there's a secret passage I did not know about? Why did you not tell me, bud? I was just about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find that the way had been cleared. I am going to explore inside. I have to go back to the sealed ground soon. So it looks like I am going to be busy. Hmm. Well, I'll meet you there. Maybe, maybe not. To the sky. You hear that? Scratching my beard? Kind of hope not. It's probably a weird thing to hear. But there's some context for you. Anyway. Alright. <clears throat> A is for up. Um, and my prize is going to be here. It's that little island I've already been to. Oh, wow. I'm gonna shoot for the stars here. Bye, bird. Yeah. And what do I get for my troubles? Oh, a heart metal. I can't hold it. Oh, sent item check. That's awesome. Nice. Alright, and there's two way out there in the middle of nowhere. 
Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you on the other side of the sky. I did it. I used the sailcloth. Link is so happy that he didn't smash his face into the ground this time. Oh, very happy. All right, and I can carry it. Woohoo! Not a bomb, Link. Can I blow it up? Oh, is this Beatles Island? Nice. Piece of heart. I think this is. This is where he parks his shop. to work for the day. Those who have business for me can find me at night. This... Oh, it's a... campfire. I see. Get it. And get things. Uh... How would a brother get in there? Hmm. Wait. But... Hmm... Hold on. Link, no. That's the ticket. Okay. Sealed grounds, right? Yep. Dang it. That kind of sucks. You know, I should probably go to Skyloft first and spend some money, since my wallet's getting full. My main man here. The old money grubbler. Get, get the thing. What can I buy? Hmm. He's also allowed to the whatevers. Oh. Yeah, one more pouch. 600. Raise prices. You're obviously hallucinating. Yay. Thank you. And the... Heart was like 800, right? Oh. Nope. Oh. What about the bug metal? Thousand! Oh. Bro! Bro! Rep job! See if I can upgrade anything while I'm here. Oh, yeah. Don't think so. <laughs> I might as well check. Bugnet? No. Slingshot? No. Beetle? Almost. Shield? No. Other shield will be no. Still have no monster claws. Thank you, game. Seed satchel? No. 
still have no monster claws. No, I, I would like you to fix my shield, though. You just backed out of everything instead of back to your normal menu. Thank you, sir. Have you got anything new here? It's a bomb bag, which I don't want. Um, how can I check my items? I want to see what they do. Treasure... Yeah, makes treasure appear with greater frequency. My foot. Yeah, you bet I came here just to see you. I actually would like to take this heart metal out. And... I guess anything I pick up will be put into storage. I'll trade in... Uh, we'll leave the full satchel in storage. Sure to find seeds somewhere. Okay. Pause menu. Find our way over here. Heart metal. Hearts will appear with greater frequency. I don't need that. I was hoping it would give me another heart. Okay, you can have this back. You have a side quest for me? Here's something that'll put some fire in your belly, young man. The new potion I've been concocting is finally ready. I call it Stamina Potion. If you drink this up, your stamina gauge won't drop as fast as usual. I'll admit it's a bit on the pricey side, but I bet you'll find yourself in a situation where a boost of stamina will make it worthwhile. If you ever want to buy some, just walk on over to the display and take a look. Keen? 50. It's not so bad. I don't have any bottles, though. Ah, we. <laughs> Yahoo! Wait, wrong game. I need to go to the green shining light. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> what are you doing, Goose? Ryan, help! <laughs> oh, rough landing. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Ryan, seriously. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? Whoa! But birds? Tiny birds? W what are they? What is that thing? But how? Why? What? What? Where am I? What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry? So I figured I'd tell you and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? It's a Goron. He's my friend. And what's with all these trees? There are so many. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? There's supposed to be nothing below the clouds. What's all this? <laughs> a 
If I hadn't mentioned it previously, Groose is a great character. There's a reason he's a meme. There are lots of reasons he's a meme, actually. <laughs> Little birdies on his shoulders. <laughs> he's like a Disney princess. <laughs> uh, whoa, you're kind of imploding my mind right now, but I think I get what you're saying. If I got this right, Zelda is down here somewhere and she's... okay? She's... she's okay. Oh, wow, that's so great! <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind. You know, Ryan, it's sort of alright down here. Oh, you haven't met the monsters yet. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wildness. From now on, we'll call it... Grooseland. <laughs> Wilderness, the word was, not wildness. But you know that. So let me see if I've got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? I see. Right, Ryan. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Big Groose will handle the search for, eh, will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official, and then the two of us will get some quality time together. I said we'll take her back to Skyloft and make out. Anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now, it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Catch you later, Ryan. That's what I'm gonna do. Aw. They're smarter than me. Good birds. Orko, what's up? Hey. Oh, hey, bud. We meet again. In a hurry as usual, eh? Yep, I have been keeping busy too, checking out the wonders of the world. Say, you want to hear some, uh, hear about some of my research? Sure. Okay, bud, prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. So get a load of this. Apparently, there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Wild, right? Want to know more? Of course. All right. That is the kind of archaeological enthusiasm I like to see. Oh, but before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues, there was something I had better ask about, bud. You ever heard of a blessed butterfly? I have a few in my pocket, in fact. Alright, bud. Then let me jump straight to the point. Ancient tomes mention these butterflies flapping around in packs by certain walls and statues. Seems like these butterflies have some come as sixth sense. They are detecting, uh, something. Want to hear more? Please. Which are you interested in? Uh, statues. Hey. The writings claim that the statues appear out of nowhere with a boing sound and speak a strange language. Can you believe it, buddy? Talking statues. I know you want to hear more about this. Nah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I am hard at work investigating the leg locations of these talking statues now. Hmm. Okay. But where did I fall down? Why am I here? Oh, because Groose pulled me off of where I was. No, because I guess there's a bird statue there. So, makes sense. Okay. Um, being lost is not part of what I was going to do. I have to go talk to this old lady. Tell Groose to step off. Huh? You've got to be kidding me, Granny. You're messing with me. Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, Yorzala, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. 
How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? <laughs> if I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Huh? Oh. Now I getcha. Ryan, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're gonna be the big hero who rescues Zelda. <laughs> what a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. <laughs> Wah! Greetings, Ryan. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is a being sent forth by the Goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Ryan, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First, press X to ready your harp. Good, you learn fast. Now for your next lesson. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your harp. Listen well, for the song I sing will be of great help to you in your journey. And this is how you learn songs in this game. I don't remember how you execute songs, though. I think you just strum the harp and then it's like, which thing did you want to play? The harp is kind of shallow, is what I'm getting at. You learn the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. Oh. Well, that's quite a thing I did. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the Goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as a gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Ryan, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god- <laughs> ruh -ro. They're shaking! I fear the seal has been broken! I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Ryan, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Actually, my old friend, I think what I need to do is hurry over to this duck statue and save my game. Because that is enough for today.
So I'm going to save and quit, and I'm going to give my usual spiel. That goes something along the lines of, Thank you for watching. We'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.